Well, it's time for Passion to Profit. Two entrepreneurs are seeing sweet success and sharing how they turned healthy eating into big business. They're joining us live in a moment, but first, here's a look at their stories. It's a food revolution. Young entrepreneurs like Brian Rudolph and Daniel Katz are bringing a twist to some of our food favorites. This isn't your typical wheat pasta. It's pasta made from chickpeas. You heard me right, chickpeas. Chickpeas are one of few foods that are both nutritious and delicious, and ultimately, they make a pasta that looks like pasta. After starting from scratch in his Detroit kitchen he shares with his eight roommates, Brian launched Bonza in 2014 with brother Scott as his co-founder. When we first got started, we didn't have really anything to stand out. We would pretty much just jump out into the aisle and say, hey, have you tried chickpea pasta? At store demos or at farmer's markets like this one, guerrilla marketing is essential to their growth. Thank you very much. <laughs> what was once a labor of love, Brian is now planning on building a chickpea empire. In the last year, we've gone from two to 2,000 stores. We even have some stores where we're the number one selling pasta overall. Cocoa glazed cinnamon bun. Like Brian, 19-year-old Daniel Katz is also rethinking some of our popular food staples. It is protein-infused almond fluff butter. With his no-cow bars and fluff butters. We didn't realize how young he was when we first started working with him. It wasn't until the end of the meeting after we had decided to bring in the brand that we heard that he was 18 years old. The first six months of the company, it was just me, and it, it grew so quickly. While living on an air mattress out of his rented office space, Daniel gave himself a crash course in food chemistry to make his protein-enhanced products dairy-free. Once ready with what he hoped were tasty treats, he pitched his concept to major retailers. I had a lot of people at the beginning telling me that it was impossible and it, there was no chance I was going to be able to survive competing with billion dollar brands. In less than a year, D's Naturals has gained national distribution. And if you just are willing to work, you're willing to sleep less, anything's achievable. Anything's achievable. Daniel Katz, Brian Rudolph, and our expert, Tori Johnson, are here with us now to, to weigh in. C congratulations, guys. Thank this you very is much. Thank are you, are so you still much. sleeping in this? I am. So, I, yeah, yeah. You, have a, you don't have an air mattress anymore. No, I started with the air mattress, and every single month I, it grows. So okay. now it's just a regular mattress. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. on. Yeah. Um, your, your guys are so passionate about this and, and eating healthy. And chickpeas? Really? I, I, I yeah. was a skeptic, but now I'm a believer. Why chickpeas? Yeah. Uh, so. Pasta is one of my favorite foods, mm -hmm. and uh, chickpeas are incredibly healthy, and they also taste really good. And so by now, I can actually eat one of my favorite foods, again, by making it from a better ingredient. And mm -hmm. you end up with double the protein, four times the fiber, nearly half the net carbs, It's uh, and it still feels and tastes like something you love. <laughs> That's yeah. it, and the same with you. So, okay, Tori. First of all, lean and mean. That's what you like. I do starting like out that. I business. do like that. I think that you need to prove your concept mm -hmm. before you sign a lease. And so I started in my bedroom at a desk and, and really, you know, started generating sales. And I think that's exactly what you need to do before you go for all the fancy stuff, you know. Focus on what matters most. But, it, I mean, it's great that Daniel and Brian are passionate. And then a lot of people at home saying, I'm, I'm passionate about my business, too but it goes beyond that. It definitely goes way beyond passion. So it's great when you can find something that you're passionate about, but passion doesn't automatically produce a paycheck, right? Mm. Passion can fuel a hobby. Passion can fuel something that you're just personally interested in. But to be able to create a profitable business takes a lot more than just passion. And you did this because you started with something that you love, but then you had a plan about how am I gonna make money doing this? And I think that's what's critical for anyone to focus on, which is, okay, how am I gonna make money from this passion? What are all the the necessary steps to get there to making money so that this can be a profitable business not just a passion, a passion. And, and it's a growing business because you have Daniel five new varieties that are that are coming hit the market yeah we have five new varieties of our fluff butter which we call it it's a mm -hmm. protein enhanced uh, nut butter it's mm -hmm. dairy free soy free gluten free vegan non GMO and zero to one grams of sugar for but all of our products. it is not taste free it is not, not taste free, free. <laughs> it is not taste free that's the most important part <laughs> exactly now okay you guys have had success mm -hmm. But you've had those those rough times as Absolutely. well. So tell me what you've learned from those mistakes that you made. Absolutely. So I made so many mistakes starting out. It's not even, <laughs> it's unbelievable. Uh, the biggest thing that I've learned is how do you keep up with pr uh, production when you have a high demand product? So one of the things that uh, we have had problems with mm -hmm. is literally doing that. We haven't spent a dollar on marketing, yet our production is, is not 
supporting our demands. And wow. uh, so that's one of the biggest problems we've had thus far. And didn't you have a, put something on the label about peanuts and you forgot to do that? And that well, uh, I don't like to talk about that one. <laughs> okay, we'll leave that one. Forgetting an allergy warning and having to throw out a bunch of products. But yeah. But you learn from that. You, you learn, learn yep. And you, you're talking about something. What is it, Venture for America? Yeah. How did that help you? Yeah, so Venture for America is a program that's geared towards creating jobs through entrepreneurship. And I was fortunate enough to be able to go through the program. And one of the things that the program provided me was mentorship. And I had the opportunity to learn from someone who actually checked in with me every month to push me towards starting my business and then helped me as I began. Mm. And if there's one thing I would say for anyone watching, it's that if you can find a mentor who will push you towards the next step, it makes a huge difference. Okay, because well, yeah. we ask people to, to send in their questions and that was one from Joanne, she said, what is the best way, Tori, to ask someone to become a mentor? So you can look for formal programs just like you did. There's right. a lot of formal programs that exist. But if you don't pursue a formal program, think of it first in terms of like marriage. Like you wouldn't ask a stranger right off the bat, like, will you marry me? You get to know somebody mm -hmm. before you pop the question. And so the same mm -hmm. really is true with mentoring. Surround yourself with people who are really good at business, maybe in different areas of business. You know, ask them questions. You could tweet people questions. You could call people you can email it doesn't have to be only a formal environment and then once you get to know someone and they're comfortable and they feel like they can mm -hmm. help you which any mentor wants to do then you can say like will you be my mentor will can we formalize this I want to get one more in sure. Tyler King asks, what's the key to using social media most effectively to promote your business because I think you guys have done that as well engage regularly that is critical so many small business owners say I'm on Facebook it doesn't work just posting once to three people and sitting back expecting the phone to ring isn't gonna happen so you have to have a regular strategy every day you're working at it just like you guys are doing so happy for you guys. Thank you very much. Everyone's ready to dig into this. Thank you. I'm ready to dig in. Yeah. Come on, drop and let us eat. We will, because I've, 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 had, I've had the pasta, especially. Yep. I've had this. It is. It's not only, you know, your passion, it's actually good. You're too It's kind. really good. No, no, really no, no. Really appreciate that. Uh, Tori you. will be at, taking your questions throughout the morning and tweet her at Tori Johnson, right? All right, Easy send enough. them in. Let's go outside to Rob now. Thank, Thank you. you very much. One gram of sugar. One gram, One gram sugar, of sugar, Hey, does she look familiar? This is Bob and Lee Woodruff's daughter, <laughs> Catherine Woodruff. She sent me the bonza. She's working with Brian. And it's all about networking. It's all about getting your story out there. And you helped inspire us to talk about Daniel and all the ones that we talked last week. So thank you, Catherine. Thank you, all Robin. Right. All right. Appreciate it. You're not sleeping on the floor, are you? No. Okay. <laughs> Coming up, the morning after, the explosive premiere, our exclusive with the women of Game of Thrones. Come on back.